Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about the wisdom of knowing when to speak. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1 and 7 in the Message Translation, and Eugene Peterson does a wonderful job on this particular verse. There's an opportune time to do things, a right time for everything on the earth, a right time to shut up and another to speak up. Several years ago, I was discouraged and confused. I had hit a brick wall and I just couldn't find freedom in a particular area in my life. I asked trusted friends for advice and I received more than my share of unsolicited advice. Nothing seemed to reach my heart. When I cried out to God for an answer, it seemed I was met with silence. One evening, I resisted that urge to fill that silence with the busyness of life. I sat quietly and realized that although God was still, he was very much present. He hadn't shut his ears to my plight. He was waiting for that opportune moment to speak his healing word when my heart was ready to hear him. We ache for loved ones as we watch them spiral out of control. We offer our counsel and we point them in the direction of wiser people than ourselves. They ask for our opinion and when we are reluctant to give it, they accuse us of being non-supportive. At their insistence, we give them advice only to be accused of being judgmental, condescending, and patronizing. When they are in such a place, it is best for us to be quiet. The filters created by their brokenness will only twist our words. No matter how respectful and loving our intentions are toward them, they will use our words of encouragement as bricks and mortar to reinforce their walls of self-protection. Counsel offered too soon is as sour to the spirit as an unripened apple is to the tongue. It's wise to step back and allow the master to work his craft. Infinitely patient, he knows just when to plant that seed, when to nurture the seed, and when to bring that seed into full harvest. Our job is to pray. Our trust, patience, and obedience all play a pivotal role in the process. At the right time, when the soil is ready, the life-bearing words we have to speak will bear good fruit. Proverbs 15 verse 23. To make an apt answer is a joy to a man, and a word in season how good it is. Those who know me well know I use this expression on occasion. When I am so tempted to speak into a situation and I know that I shouldn't, I ask the Lord for Holy Ghost duct tape so I can apply it firmly to my lips so I'm not going to say something out of season. Now, do I leave that tape on all the time? No, I put my foot in my mouth more times than I can count. However, the fruit of waiting in obedience to the Lord before we say something to somebody else is amazing. It is so difficult when we see somebody struggling and we think we have the answer to their situation, and perhaps we actually do. We need to do the second step, however, and we need to listen to the Lord and wait for his directive to speak. Premature advice will always fall on deaf ears.